Hi guys, today is a product review day. We got a wonderful Mostool MT111. This is a portable multimeter, the kind of one you want to put in the toolbox, carry it in your pocket. Uh, it takes small room wherever you go and it's very practical. And as I told you guys many times, there is not the best multimeter in the market. What you need to know is which one is the best multimeter for the occasion. Now, let's learn about this wonderful multimeter and its capabilities. Something I like from it is it is touch screen. There is not any button on it. And the screen is beautiful. Colors are great. And let's take a look from which angle can I appreciate this view. I need to eliminate the spotlight so we can appreciate on camera. I am going to use some components to test, including a voltage reference. It's the circuit I have here. So now, let's test the multimeter. But before to start, we must make reference that this multimeter is a double display. And also, it has a bar graph display. So it becomes the kind of combination of digital multimeter plus the classic analog wire display multimeter. Next one, auto. What is auto means? Auto doesn't mean here the auto range. What it means is the auto function. That means the multimeter has a microcontroller and is intelligent enough to realize if you are going to make a measurement of voltage AC, voltage DC, resistors, or any other thing you are doing, diode test, the multimeter will find it out itself, so you are error-free from uh, using this kind of technology. And I recommend this kind of multimeter for students, hobbyists, uh, people who work in the electrical service, repairing electrical things for the house, is a wonderful and practical multimeter that will save you from any mistake because it will take care of it. Now, Mostel MT111 in action. Continuity test. Voltage AC, 220 volts. Without touching anything, let's go for the battery. AC, DC, let's go with the resistors. One ohm. Ten ohms. One hundred ohms. One kilo ohm. Ten kilo ohms, one hundred kilo ohms, one mega ohm. Ten mega ohms. Diodes. T 
This is a fast diode. This is a normal silicon diode. What about LEDs? Red. Amber. Green. Blue. Can it test the white LED? The answer is yes. What about the capacitors? Well, it's too much to ask for picofires here, but we can go with the nanofires and microfires. Let's watch it. For one nanofire, I get about 1.4, but let's remember these test leads are not the best and I'm using also a breadboard. Ten nanofires plus minus twenty percent looks better here. One hundred nanofires plus minus ten percent is okay here. One microfarad. Ten microfarads. Nine hundred microfarads. What about one thousand microfarads? Beauty. Two thousand two hundred. Wonderful. Now let's go for the frequency test. I'm using 10 MHz and 1 volt peak to peak and for this one is a square wave. Not too bad. Part of the error margin is because the voltage is south. Let me increase the voltage just a little bit. The reason is because the rising and falling age of the signal is too fast. Aha, uh -huh. this is 10 megahertz in a pocket multimeter. Think about it. Beauty. I want to make a continuity test and realize in how many ohms did I get the beep. It switches on under 50 ohms. All right, but when we get a digital multimeter, how much precision, what is the accuracy of this device? Let's go for it now. Let's remember in this circuit, I have a voltage reference of 10 volts. 
Wow. So the little toy is what we expected. This device deserves a thumbs up. There is something else in the screen we are still missing, and it says True RMS. Let's check the specs. Most of the time we call True RMS when we get 1 kHz and 1 volt RMS. In this case, for 1 kHz, 1 volt RMS, what we get in the multimeter is what we expect. If we start increasing the frequency, then the voltage will drop after this point. To understand the function auto, we have to apply voltage to the unit to find out after which voltage level it triggers the voltmeter. So let's make this test now. I'm applying AC voltage. Also, I'm reducing that voltage. All right, 800 millivolts, and the voltmeter turns on. Guys, I'm very impressed with this multimeter. It went beyond my expectations. It's small, practical, beautiful screen, all the angles view, you can hang it in your hand and work with it. Takes little room in the toolbox, in the pocket. Double display, voltage and frequency, auto function. It takes care of the AC, DC, high voltage, low voltage, whatever value of resistor. I'm very impressed with this device. I forgot to tell you guys, this device also has a light. But it's good to work in the darkness. And there is also a non-contact voltage detection. So that's great for home preparing too. Beyond my expectations, thanks to Most Tool, they sponsored this device. It was a given from them to make a full review and I am very impressed about this uh, device. Thank you guys for the device. Thank you guys for watching this video. Do not forget to like if the video was worth it to you and to subscribe to the channel. See you next time for more videos about electronics.